mainly because there is nothing out there that looks like me. So, you know, my boobs are too small, I'm too skinny, and my hair's the wrong colour. So... <laughs> you can be a twig. Well, yeah, but, you know, wearing all brown, eh. <laughs> you know, what's brown and sticky? A stick. So, um, yeah. I mean, I like my corsets. I'm really, really a corset fan at heart, so, you know. I have cosplayed as the 11th Doctor, and I pulled it off very well, I think. Um, a lot of people were quite impressed when they saw the pictures. I even got I, I even got the hair. Um, unfortunately, I have red hair, and he has, like, dark hair, so it, that part didn't quite work out. On top of that, he's, like, 5'10", and I'm, like, not. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. I'm too short. So. Yeah. Yes, yeah. but I do actually um, know but, someone who will be cosplaying as the Doctor on Saturday. So That's cool. We will have to see. I want to get, um, I actually told a couple people this, I want to get like a whole group of my friends together that are in the Doctor Who, and I want each one to dress up as one of the Doctors. So I would probably be the 11th Doctor, because that's the one I can pull off the best. Um, Janie would probably be the 4th um, John would probably have to be the eighth doctor because he's got long curly hair Mm -hmm. and um, we need someone to play the ninth doctor. I don't know who Robin would be, but um, yeah. Anyway, so um, Robin could be a weeping angel. Huh? Robin could be a weeping angel. That would be so cool. I tell you, at Supernova, Oh my gosh, there were that many weeping angels around and some of them were so convincing, you're going, okay, move away from the creepy people. Don't so, blink, don't blink, don't blink. Yeah. <laughs> was kind of well, a little she could, she could be one of the clockwork people. Yeah, they were kind of cool, weren't they? I thought they were. Hmm. Nice outfits too. Hmm. Okay. So, should we get on with one of our stories? So, I want to get all of my friends together, and I don't want to go to a convention. Well, I do want to go to a convention, but anyway, do what? <laughs> do you want to get on to one of the stories? Well, I was going to finish my. I was going to finish what I was saying first, and then yeah. <laughs> all right, finish what you're saying. <laughs> all right. Anyway, yes, I want to go to a convention, but. This is not the point of the story. What I want to do is I want all of my friends to dress up and in all of these ridiculous costumes, except for the bow tie, the bow tie school, and go to, like, a store, like Walmart or something, and just walk <laughs> around as if nothing is out of the ordinary. Well, there's nothing quite as bizarre as going into the Brisbane city, like the inner city, on the days when Supernova is on because quite a lot of people have got to get a connecting bus from the city into the area where Supernova is and of course you know if you're in costume quite often you're gonna have to sort of catch public transport with the costume on so yeah it was last year I think was the first time we'd taken my daughter to Supernova and she'd never really known that people cosplayed that much so, you know, one of the things to keep her entertained was we'd go around and we'd rate the people's costumes, which was fine until we actually went back into the city and she was rating people who were just wearing their normal clothes, thinking that they were actually wearing costumes and loudly. <laughs> so we were sort of like going, shh, they're not wearing a costume. And she's like, oh, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love your daughter. Your daughter is absolutely fantastic. But speaking of weird things to see at Walmart. Yes. (laughs) See how I segued that one? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, speaking of weird things you see at Walmart, um, and back to the whole fetish thing, I bet one of your fetishes does not involve being turned on by Walmart. Considering I've never actually seen, heard of, or witnessed a Walmart in my entire life. Yeah. I mean, I know what a Walmart is, but... Well, it... Yeah. Yes. Well, if you ever do see a Walmart and you ever do get aroused, uh, just be careful and don't do what this guy did. So, a driver at Walmart accused of obscenity. 
That is the actual title, which is kind of funny considering. But anyway. A man driving around in West Monroe, Louisiana's Walmart parking lot was arrested on obscenity charges, accused of exposing himself while behind the wheel. Travis Brent Ken, 28, of 155 Brandon Road, was arrested by West Monroe police after responding to an obscenity complaint. According to the, the arrest affidavit, a witness told police he saw a male in a white Ford Taurus exposing himself while driving around the parking lot. An officer discovered the vehicle still in the parking lot, and he made contact with Ken. The officer reported Ken said he had exposed himself because, and I quote, he gets aroused whenever he goes to Walmart. <gasps> Ken was booked into Washita Correctional Center. He has he is free on a five thousand dollar bond. Okay, I have a few points on this one. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, okay. Where does it say he was driving a Taurus, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. Isn't like a Taurus like a big four by four thing? No, it's a car. Just a normal car. Yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking that the person that uh, reported him must have been in like an SUV 4x4 type thing because really, how is the man going to get everything waving where people can see it if he's in a Taurus? Either that, or I guess maybe he drove by and they happened to kind of glance over and all of a sudden, oh my god, there's a pecker staring at me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, um, and what the frig? How do you get aroused at Walmart? I mean, I've seen pictures, man. That place is not going to turn any normal person on. Why is he in a correctional center free instead of in a mental institution? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Shameless pl shameless plug for people of Walmart. Now, what makes this story even more interesting is the fact that um this happened. The story took place about 45 minutes, no, 30 minutes give or take from where I live, which makes it even better. It's On bad. top of that, my mother is the one who told me about this, and the only reason she was paying attention to the story was because she was making sure that it wasn't some guy she knew who has been arrested before for exposing himself. <gasps> oh, dear. Okay, oh, oh, images in my head of naked skydiving. Oh, dear. <laughs> If you're under the age of sixteen, it just waves. If if you're under the age of sixteen, do not YouTube that. Seriously, you will be scarred for your entire life. Oi! But if you're over the age of eighteen, please go look it up and have a really good laugh. <laughs> yeah, because it is kind of funny. But do you see what I mean by how on earth the things not break off? I don't know. I'm just wondering what would happen if you had like boobs. What do boobs do? Oh, you haven't seen that either. Oh, dear. Okay. Yeah. No, I just saw the man. You'll have to YouTube that later, too. That's funny. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so now we're, we're going well, well, well and surely out of the PG rating, Mark. <laughs> Mate, Mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just take a step into the whole weirdo dimension and go on to the next story. Which Other is... weird things that happen in parking lots. Yeah, I haven't actually read this one, so they'll probably be like massive f ups. Um, yeah, Texas vampire <laughs> arrest sparks discussion on pop culture from August seventeenth. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say Rooters. I don't know. I think so. Okay, the arrest of a Texas man who broke into a woman's house, threw her against the wall, and tried to suck her blood blood over the weekend has sparked a sparked discussion over the impact of vampire books and movies on US youth culture. While pop culture played a role in the attack, uh remains to be seen as nineteen year old Lynn Monroe Bensley awaits a psychiatric evaluation in jail. Lyle. What? Lyle. 
Lyle, Lil, or whatever. Um, that guy uh, awaits a psychiatric evaluation in jail on, on burglary charges in Galveston, Texas, south of Houston. Found growling and hissing in a parking lot. Ha! Huh, I nice. bet it was Walmart. <laughs> Well, at least growling and hissing doesn't sound like he's being turned on, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe. And wearing only boxer shorts. Well, hey, at least he was covered. The pierced, <laughs> the pierced and tattooed Bensley claimed he was a 500-year-old vampire who needed to feed. Uh-huh, because that's normal. Uh, Galveston Police Captain Chief Hens Hazy. Jeff Hazy. <laughs> Jeff Hazy. Mm, said 